in Group B. You never know how that's going to play out. But we're heading over to Oasis to kick this playoff match off. Jordan, I just want to say a very big thank you to everyone watching us on their second monitor as they work their way through Battle for Azeroth. Uh, yeah. Big shout out to all of you. You're the real MVP. Yep, I'm also casting off my second monitor as well. But uh, order, I'm going to be jumping out here with the GOATS composition. Masterminds have something a little different in mind, Ben. They've gone for uh, a little bit more standard. They're going to play a little bit more pokey with Tarki and USMC on McCree and Hanzo, respectively. Order. What they want to do right now is just get on top of that Masterminds roster and start swinging away with that Reinhardt Hammer, the Brigitte as well. That's worked out nicely. Order being able to catch up courtesy of that Lucio speed boost from Frogger. Yeah, nice pick. And uh, onto the point they go. Looking nice and strong. Going to be hard for them to uh, really do anything. You can see the team going to decide that they are going to get out of dodge, whether we see any changes. Taki across to the Farah. Good choice. Yeah, makes sense to me. When you take a look at what Order has to work with, uh, maybe a little less, less effective in this space here, Jordan, but we'll have to see. I'm sure Taki knows some, uh, some great strats from getting in some rockets. Yeah, not just a change up from Taki, but also from the tanks of Masterminds, KS1 and Noz being on to Winston and the Diva respectively. So a bit more dive oriented now for Masterminds. That is the dive that you can see. They've just jumped straight in, but so far, not too much damage actually done here by Masterminds and Auto quite content to hang on to the point for the moment. Yeah, for sure. And KS1 going to be chased out here by Sign. Sign who is actually on zero energy, so uh, not really doing all that much damage. Uh, look, one by one, they seem to be going okay and Gob's going to be going down. So that's a, a, a pretty decent pick there. We'll see whether that plays out or not, but we're already up to 50%. So irrespective of the result for this one, Order is going to be pretty happy across the board. Going to be needing to see Masterminds do a little bit better than that when they get the initial pick in the fight if yeah. they want to win this matchup. Yep. Sure, they get that pick onto Gob, but really there wasn't much follow-up past that. No. Signed, he kind of got low, but he was able to get healed up. He got the health kit and then subsequently got another kill past that. And Order, uh, they clean up the fight. It was a it was a very prolonged fight from Masterminds. And, the, and despite the fact that they get the first pick, they don't even come close to winning it. So Order's looking really, really comfortable right now. They're just having absolutely no problems. And now with the, the weight of ultimates that they do have at their disposal, particularly Atar here with this rally, considering Order aren't dying already, they're going to have an extra bit of armor. I don't think that they're going to be going down here. Mirage comes through and taken out straight away from Sign Tucky. Going to get picked up there. That's a little bit less than ideal for Masterminds. And to be fair, Order looking uh, quite convincing right now, Jordan. No matter what they do, it seems to be working. Even when that self-destruct comes through, not going to be able to find any picks. As you said before, when Masterminds finds the first pick, they need to do more with it. Yep. A quick 100 to 0 here on University. So that's <laughs> uh, that's quite convincing. Atar didn't even need to use that rally, did he? Like He, he nope. held on to it till basically the fight was over. Uh, that looked far too easy for Order, if I'm honest. Masterminds, uh, I guess they, they had the right idea in that they swapped over to the Farah and they, they changed their composition up to counter what Order was running, but by that stage, Order was just a little bit too far ahead. They had everything to play with. It was a, a nice Graviton Surge out from Sign that really delayed Masterminds from getting on the point and getting a, a good final fight out. So that made life obviously quite difficult for them. Uh, but for Masterminds, they absolutely need to start off a little bit stronger than what they did there. Otherwise, Order's going to find this far, far too easy. And if you give Order the advantage, being a very momentum-based team, they are going to be able to steamroll this matchup. So not so great early signs for Masterminds here, and certainly good ones for Order. But things could definitely change in round two. Yep, going to run dive tanks again for Masterminds. You can see Order has Atar there on the Sombra as well. So let's see how this ends up playing out for them. And no Widow though for Order, so it's really going to be up to Taki to see what damage he can do, because that's the real change, to be honest. Let's see which one plays out better. Yeah, interesting to see Atar on the Sombra. We didn't see that at all last season when he was playing for Jam. He was just essentially playing Tracer the whole time. Let's see what he's going to be able to do here, but Science certainly is having an impact on said Tracer as he picks up both of the supports of Masterminds. And this team fight looks like it's going to be a pretty clean wipe for Order, losing only Unter. Yeah, not bad at all. Everyone pretty low, but they're going to have time to heal up, particularly here with Frogger. Going to play some tunes, make everyone feel a little, little bit better and yeah. fill up those health bars, that's for sure. Nice to see Frogger playing uh, Lucio again. Didn't get to see too much of it throughout this season, but no. uh, definitely a comfort hero for him. Definitely one of the best, if not the best Frogger, uh, Frogger. if not the best Lucios in the region, I should say. Uh, kind of goes hand in hand, I suppose.
but Scient is absolutely terrorizing Lurking, these lurking with a pulse bomb. Not going to find any kills, but does a little bit of damage. And you can see Order taking this battle so far away from the point, Jordan. They're going to take it right to Masterminds here. And it's a, a pretty brutal rate, way to take this fight. They probably didn't expect to see them. So every second that we fight off the point over here is the second that Order gets free ticks onto the point. Gob going to go down to August 9th. Is this something that can finally go Mastermind's way? Well, you'd have to hope so, but again, we saw that in the last map, or the last round, I should say, where they got the initial pick onto Gob, didn't really follow up too much with it. USMC will lose the Tracer battle to Signed, and that's going to give Signed so much room to maneuver. So an EMP does come down from ATAR as well. The follow-up is not quite there from order, but it is going to be enough to push Masterminds back off the point again for a moment. And again and again, as that timer ticks up, this is still favoring order, even if it does look like they're losing the fight. They're still buying themselves percentage on that point. Yeah, look, when you, when you take a look at this ultimate stack, surely this now goes to Masterminds, but it's going to be uh, at least 80% here, you, you'd expect, before this goes anywhere else. So there you go, 24% remains as Masterminds takes it back over. So they at least have the point. They managed to win themselves a fight. Maybe now they can work their way through some ultimate charge. The NKS1 already up to 90% there on the Primal Rage, August 9th as well with the Transcendent. So uh, potential for them to win another couple of fights. If they can get this momentum going, that's what they need. But now they have not had momentum at all in their favor across this game. Yeah, another dive coming out now for Order. Utta does have the Coalescence, but might hang on to it here because Signed has been picked off. Not sure if Order are going to commit to this one, but it does look like they will as they found Masterminds Ooh. quite significantly bunched up. And that's a great spot to use the Coalescence in. You're going to get a lot of healing and a lot of damage out of that one. But still no kill comes out for Order here. They haven't equalized things just yet. Yeah, well, Taki going to go down. Ata throws out the EMP once again. So potential for Order to win this fight. They're on the point at least. Masterminds have managed to get to 50% so far. Looking close. Not half bad, to be honest, but if they don't get the picks, it will not matter. Order should capture this back. They've got the picks that they need. Now, as it goes over and they're at 77%, this is the situation where Masterminds is, is really in a bit of a tight spot. Not too bad, though, for Masterminds. You look across Order's lineup and you see not a single ultimate available, none really even close either. Rally is thrown out there by Masterminds and they still have quite a bit to work with here. Atar has been spotted around the back as well and he's forced to translocate out. So this is looking good for Masterminds and they definitely can recontest this with the ultimates available. Well, they need to recontest because they're about to lose the map. Primal Rage has popped. Signed, as you can see, has the pulse bomb, throws it through. Ooh. Doesn't find anyone, but it chunks out both Taki, August 9th, and Nas. I guess that's three, really. You lose a ton of HP in that situation. Nas has been d -mech. Taki still going okay. Uh, Signed is doing a ton of damage as well. For now, it looks maybe, maybe like Masterminds might be able to bring this back. They've got at least the first pick. Gob is out, means they have a Winston, and Order do not. Still, overtime lasting a while right now. We'll see whether Gob can come back in before the battle is over. But the pick's going Mastermind's way. Yep. And a significant battle they've just won. Yeah, but again, the longer that battle goes, the, the more time Order has to charge up their ultimates. ATAR has got the EMP here, which is going to be absolutely critical for Order. They're going to have plenty of time to recontest this point, but it's going to come down to if ATAR gets an EMP that, that is good, if he gets a good one off, it's essentially a, a team fight won there for Order. Masterminds are going to have some real trouble. So August 9th must ensure that he doesn't get hit by this EMP, and it's really nice to see Masterminds scouting out the positioning there of ATAR. A big Ooh. pick onto Unter as well, so this is actually doable now for Masterminds. Is indeed USMC going to find the second support as well here for Order? So that is quite significant, even with everything else they've got here. Oh, I don't know Swilco. if it's going to be enough to swing this back. Swilco, doing what he can, picks uh, Taki back up, one but goes one. down to sign. But, Jordan, this is looking okay for Masterminds right now. They're managing to bring it back. They're getting the picks. They're in their favor. The Ultimates now are in their favor as well. The rally is popped here by Taki. They're on the point into overtime, they may win this point. Yeah, great work from Mastermind so far. As long as they can close this map out, we'll talk about it in a second, it certainly does look like they're going to be able to close this one out, bring it back to one apiece, and that is going to be the case as no one can get on the point to secure overtime for Masterminds. But yeah, that was excellent from Masterminds as they're able to pressure out ATAR. He was the key there really for 
uh, order as he had that EMP. He needs to be able to get in a position where he can use it, hit a lot of players, but he's spotted by the D.Va. He's forced back, forced out. By the time he's actually able to get in there and, and uh, finally utilize that EMP, the fight was already lost. Yeah. So the pressure onto ATAR there was excellent from Masterminds, and that's uh, very, very good to see. So we're back at one apiece, and all of a sudden this series is looking this maybe is what a, I wanted, a little bit closer than yeah. we might have anticipated. If Masterminds can step up like they have just then, play around their win conditions and play around Order's win conditions, and uh, they're definitely going to make this one interesting. Absolutely. Well, this is the third and final round here on Oasis. The winner will pick up a 1-0 lead heading into map two, and that is crucial in this best of five. You only need three maps to win. You win three maps, your opponents are out. You continue through to Rod Laver Arena. A lot at stake, and it doesn't matter what you've done for the rest of the season. This is what, what counts. Yeah, August 9th also finding the opening pick there. Aintar not having so much success here on Sombra. If he's going to stay on that, that's a real interesting question for me. Seems as though Order are quite content to keep Atar on Sombra for now, but half it's working, Ben, at the moment. Mastermind certainly winning this fight as well with that triple support composition. Yeah, Taki actually doing a ton of work there on the Brigitte. You can see it really can be very difficult to deal with her, particularly when you do not have one of your own. So Basically has rally up already. Yeah, that's what happens when, when the Brigitte stays alive for so long. Um, you know, she's right in the thick of it, really allows you, no matter what you're doing there, as long as you're fighting, you're gaining that ultimate charge. So, Masterminds will find the first capture, up to 20% already, and that's a great, great start for them. Um, I'm super happy to see that it looks to me like this match might actually be fairly close. Potentially, potentially. Let's see what Taki's going to do with this rally here. He's up to 98%, but you'd have to expect it's going to be thrown out in this fight just to keep everyone safe, because Order definitely do have enough to challenge here, and there is the rally indeed. USMC finding the opening pick as well. Great start to the fight for Masterminds. Yeah, one rally for one coalescence. Nod's going to go down as well, or at least lose that mech. So that's essentially the same thing here. Sign picked up right now. Masterminds with the favor. Unt has gone down as well. Masterminds looking good. Should pick up this fight. Order will have to drop back. Masterman's going to chase them out, trying to uh, find who they can. As you can see, yep. uh, both Gob and Frog are deciding the, to get rid of it. I don't know if you just walk in front of a car in this situation. Is that probably yeah. the easiest yeah. thing? Uh, you've got to give a shout-out to USMC here because he's putting in so, so much work, really keeping ATAR out of this battle. I don't think ATAR's really done a whole lot at all so far in this round, and that's not necessarily his fault, more so that he's just been completely shut down. Gob's going to go over onto a Wrecking Ball here, so a change-up for Auto. This is not a bad sort of situation for the Wrecking Ball to be in, but he's so far behind as far as Ultimate is concerned. 81% already up for Masterminds. It's very late to be changing here for Order, but they have to make it work. It is, I guess, the benefit of the Wrecking Ball is that the Ultimate is not a, an insanely huge part of the kit. It's useful, but it's not the be-all and end-all. And amongst all of that, Order have managed to find three quick kills. This down barrier will secure them this victory, that is for sure. So we're at 99%. This is, of course, a fight that Order needed to win, and they that's, will do that's so. That's fine, though, for Masterminds. They really don't invest anything in that one because the EMP comes out from ATAR. Frogger also using sound barrier there, and Sign did have the Pulse Bomb out. Really, what Masterminds threw in there was the Pulse Bomb from USMC and, I guess, the Valkyrie from Swilco. But realistically, those are not two ultimates that you necessarily need a lot of the time. The Pulse Bomb is nice, of course, to get picks. And Valkyrie, well, it keeps Mercy alive, but doesn't do much for the rest of the team. So Masterminds, they've got plenty of time to build their ultimates up here. They've got a Transcendence available to them. Masterminds are still in pole position to close this map out right now, despite the fact that Order are the ones that control the cap. Yeah, well, up to 27% right now for Order. Masterminds deciding which way they want to get onto this point. Of course, they're running those dive tanks, so they need to be nice and quick about it. They can't just hide behind the shield. They're on there right now, forcing ATAR off. As you said, going to need to translocate out of their USMC, the first to go down. So, so far, so good here for Order. If they can find another one, that'll be good. Look after that, Jordan. They know they've got time, time in the bank. So Masterminds decide, let's just reset and try this one again. Yeah, dry push out from Masterminds will allow them to build ultimates up, but so too the same can be said yeah. for Order as ATAR's coming up close to the EMP once again. Next fight, he'll probably be able to use it unless Masterminds find a way to pick him off. Taki swapped off and then back onto Brigida, so he had 97% of that rally available. Oh, and unfortunately, that's been thrown away. That's actually not too good for Masterminds at all Side because that was going to be what they had to punch through Order. It's almost like he's uh, he's invisible, except he's just not Jordan. Ready to throw out the Pulse Bomb, wants to find Swilko. Unsuccessful for now, but surely, no, the Transcendence comes out. Great timing there. 
from August 9th. Atar goes down, so that is a pretty big pick. If they can find one more, maybe this goes in the way of Masterminds. They're going through on the point, almost up to 90% here for order. It looks to me like maybe Masterminds can take it back. Definitely looks like that is going to be the case, and you say it was a big pick, well it was actually huge because Atar does have the EMP available, but he still has it available when, so if he can get back into this fight oh. and get that one out quickly, perhaps there's still a chance here for Order. It has been thrown out, and you can see the immediate response from Order. The trade's coming back well in their favor, and Masterminds, they've just fallen apart off the back of that EMP from Atar. It's going to be Order here to close out map one. Wow, what a big turnaround here, going in the favor of Order. 99, 99, but not enough, not very many heroes, if any now, on the point. Well, the Winston's not going to make it through in time. So, Order picks up Oasis. 1-0 and zero now is the score. That was actually very close. Can't help but feel for Masterminds. On the flip side, Order really, they kept it together. They did well, and they managed to, to get it through in the end. Yeah, definitely shows the impact that a Sombra can have. The EMP, such a big ability. And uh, it can really be a, a team fight swinger or a map sw swinger, as we've just seen there. It's, it's essentially won the map there for Auto. Yeah. They go up two and one. They take out Oasis. Uh, sort of critical, of, of course, of Atar early on. Didn't feel like he was necessarily getting too much done. He was getting shut down quite heavily by USMC. But he came good in the end. It took him a little while to ramp up. But then two very, very crucial EMPs come out from him, which uh, result in the team fight wins from Auto. So uh, maybe a little bit closer than I might have expected. I didn't think Masterminds were, were going to get that close, especially after seeing how the first point did go, but yep, yep. Uh, in the end, look, Order's come away with the victory and that was probably the expected result. Uh, this does give me faith that we're going to get a good series though out of this one. I think Masterminds are in a position definitely to contest Order uh, based on yeah, that map. Yeah, I, I think so. And the thing for me as well is that obviously uh, this Masterminds lineup, a, a number of experienced players, and when they did have the advantage there heading into the third round, you know, they were, they'd lose a pick and they go, okay, no worries will reset, will go again. A lot of teams won't do that, and that's where we see the problems come in for this. So even though they ended up losing the map, losing the round, it certainly could have been the other way around if the EMP hadn't been on point, and not all the EMPs had been up until that point. So... You know, it, it could have gone either way, but for now, order 1 0 up. Yeah, definitely would be cool to see USMC swapping off onto Sombra as well, maybe later on down the track. I think there's options for him, perhaps on Eichenwald if we do go there, but maybe not so much on King's Row. Uh, we have to wait and see. Uh, it, again, like I said, it was a little interesting to see Atar being the one to pick up Sombra because last season he played Tracer only. Uh, Rendo was the, the, oh, the DPS on his team on Jam Gaming that that was the player that t tended to play yeah. uh, Sombra. So that's something uh, that we get to see a little bit new from Atar, something new in his wheelhouse and seems to have gone okay there for Order. But it's kind of nice to see Order sort of experimenting with things uh, a little bit this season. Not something that we saw them doing too much last season. So uh, adapting to that new meta and I guess that's going to be good news for them should they... Uh, get to MEO and should they have to then adapt further on and as as the other teams adapt to this new meta as well you know everyone's got a lot more time to practice so uh, definitely good news early on in the piece here for all yeah absolutely and we know that the winner of this match goes up against the winner of today's other match which is dark sided and tainted minds and you know as much as I want to cheer on the underdog you're probably feeling that dark sided's are uh, looking pretty good for that one so yep. considering how dark sided have been playing you really want to be coming in, you win this match, you want to be in fine form heading into your semi-final yeah. if you go up against them because, uh, you know, there's a lot at stake and they're playing really well. So you want to be peak performance. So whoever comes through this game today as the winner, I think will actually be, will come through with quite a bit of momentum. It seems to me like they're finding form. Yeah, well, uh, that's been the storyline for Order throughout uh, the last few weeks that I've, I've been really sort of noticing. They've been able to continue to push themselves forward week after week after week. And, and I, that's, I guess, ideal for you. If you're going to find a time to peak, well, I suppose it probably should be at finals. Yeah. Uh, and that certainly seems the trajectory in which Order is on at the moment. They're looking a lot better now than they were at the start of the season. But Kings Row is the choice here from Masterminds. I think it's uh, the only map we've seen so far, so far for hybrid in it playoffs. Is. Yep, a lot of Kings Row. It's just, it's actually interesting because it, uh, Eichenwald was a slight bit more popular during the regular season than uh, Kings Row was. It wasn't nothing, anything too crazy. It was, you know, maybe like 10, 10 or something more plays on Eichenwald than there was on Kings Row. But when you look at something, for example, like uh, Volskaya versus uh, Temple of Anubis. Volskaya was absolutely barely played compared to Temple of Anubis. So, uh, yeah, 50-50 really, but like you said, so far in uh, playoffs, it's it's really been King's Row. It has. So, 
Let's see how these teams play out here. It is Overwatch Contenders Australia. Season number two, Jordan. We are in our playoffs. This is a best of five. The winner moves through to the semi-finals at Melbourne Esports Open. The loser is unfortunately out for the season. And a big thank you to McDonald's Australia for supporting us all season long. And of course, into the finals. Very exciting to have them on board for what is going, looking to me like it's going to be a pretty epic series. Yeah, so I thought for a moment we were going to get August 9th there with triple DPS onto Sombra, which would have been quite interesting to see. Something that Masterminds have run in the past, albeit with August 9th on the Tracer. Still not the case here. It'll be Widowmaker and Genji to roll out. Just a straight up dive comp, more or less, for, for Masterminds with the threat of the Widow. Straight up into the high ground. KS1 into the battle, but unfortunately forced back for now. Does a little bit of damage in Masterminds. You can see there, full health bars across the board. Order going to heal up as well. Everyone from Order going to stack back down potentially onto the point. At least a couple of players here hiding behind Gov's shield, but a little bit split up, and Swarko may be in a bad wow. position, going to get caught out there by Adam. USMC not looking that great either right now. Well, that was so free for Adam. He just sort of walked at Swarko, and there wasn't anything yeah. being done about it at all. Uh, so that's a very, very easy team fight win for Order. I don't think Masterminds are going to be too keen to let that happen again, and I'm certainly sure that Swilko is not too pleased how things have turned out there. But at the end of the day, it is just the first push from Masterminds, so not the end of the world. However, it does allow Order to build those ultimates up. We've got 82% on the Rip Tire, and A Tire in the next fight is going to be able to throw that one out unless he dies early on in the piece. Uh, but even the chances of that seem fairly unlikely unless USMC can get around the back here and get a nice Dragon Blade off. He's very close, and he might just be able to find a pick here onto Signed, if Signed isn't aware. Maybe. Which, at the moment, he is not. He's definitely not aware. You can see the mine there as well, though, so it needs to be careful. Oh, yeah. oh there we go. Sign goes down, picks him up. Nice pick, but in the process, Sign does find KS1. So they tried to sort of collapse onto the sniper, and it did not work. Atar looking. Looking. Hello. He wants to find USMC. And there we go. To. Got That's him. actually really critical because USMC from that position with the Dragon Blade could absolutely have wrecked havoc on order. But now Masterminds are just going to have to back off again and wait for the respawn so that they can push once more. Again, another little bit of a stagger as Taki goes down quite late as USMC respawns. We are building a lot of ultimates up right now for Masterminds, but they're just not getting the opportunity to use them. No. Order certainly have got quite a few of their own. Unter be critical in shutting down USMC's Dragon Blade. But Taki's looking for a pick right now. He's got the Infraside on. So far not finding anything. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working right now for Masterminds. They're going to give it another go. Go round the back this time. You can hear the Supercharger coming out as well. Adam has a Self Destruct available. Not going to need it for now. USMC looking low. But KS1, the first one to go down. That's less than ideal here for Masterminds. As soon as you, you lose that main tank, yep. particularly when he's got... Um, the ultimate available, that is not great. Going to be Raz, but Swooker goes down in the process. They're going to have to regroup, try this one again. And amongst all of that, Jordan, look, Order's used up a ton of ultis. Yep. They still have self-destruct and ATAR, as you can see, already ready to go with the Riptide. Yeah, still a pretty good fight, though, for Masterminds. As you mentioned, they have managed to burn through quite a lot of Order ultimates. So we'll have a pause in a second, yeah. Uh, but what I want to talk about, obviously Masterminds there, they don't really put too much into that one. Taki did throw the Infraside in, but again, that's one of those ults that you kind of just throw out when you've got it. Yeah. Uh, and he's also swapped over to Tracer anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant at the end of the day. But they didn't throw in the Dragon Blade, they didn't throw in anything else like that, Transcendence, whatever else, Primal Rage, etc. Uh, where Masterminds used quite a lot there, we saw Unter use the Transcendence to keep everybody alive, but USMC holds off on the Dragon Blade, which means next fight, this one for Masterminds should be the one that they're able to push through. Well, this Sometimes is the one they have. To push well, through, that's true, but sometimes it's not necessarily a case of, okay, we need to win every single fight. You know, you don't go into every fight saying, we've got to win this fight. You have objectives and goals for each individual fight that you are then looking later on down the track. So yeah. this fight here might be for us to just burn through some ultimates, and then this fight might be for us to build up a couple of ultimates, and then the third fight is actually the fight that we want to really commit everything to, and the one that we want to win. So it might be two or three minutes of setup, but this is what that two or three minutes of setup and combination it's been has a, occurred for a Masterminds. very long setup, Jordan. Only 50 seconds on the clock, running out of time right now on Masterminds. But Sign going to go down to USMC. He'd love to find one more, but KS1 going to go down to the Riptide. That is a huge pick coming out from Order. Look, he's going to be brought back up. Surely now is the time you need to use that Primal Rage. Frogger already picked up. There we go. Aita goes down as well. But both the supports found out by order. 
with 29 seconds on the clock, the Primal Rage is popped. It feels like this is the last hurrah for Masterminds on attack. Sign going to go down to Chaos 1, but where is the rest of the team? They need to respawn and get back into the action. The spawn advantage at least here for the attacking sign, but is it going to be enough? That supercharger comes out a 50% damage boot for the defending team. Looking real tough right now for Masterminds. Yeah, and that's really, really bad for Masterminds because that was essentially a 5 versus 6. Remember, Unter was still running back from spawn because of DC and Order still managed to win that fight. And still continuing, Masterminds trying to trickle onto that point, but not by now it really seems like a futile effort. Everybody is dead with the exception of USMC, and I think Swooko might be the other one that's alive. Does not matter at all as Order will completely shut out Masterminds, and that has to be. Disappointing for Masterminds. They had everything that they needed, Ben. That's what I was Did. talking about. They set up every single ultimate. That was the fight that they needed to win, and they couldn't even get close to winning it. USMC, I think he got one pick with the Dragon Blade. They invested a lot, and they didn't get anything for... Well, they didn't get any return for it. And in order, just sort of come in, counter-engage, off the back of self-destruct, and uh, Masterminds falls away. So uh, this is uh, looking a little bit tough now for Masterminds. They have to post a very good defense here. Only 52.8% to work with. Yeah, not great. And I feel, I kind of feel that that 50 odd percent almost came off one of the first couple of pushes and everything else uh, was a little bit less than ideal from their masterminds now in defense. And look, they need to win King's Row. If they lose, they're not out, but they're 2-0 down. Yeah. Staring down the barrel of elimination from season two and order would then be one map win away from going through to Rod Laver Arena, playing in front of that live audience, playing on stage, yeah, would be order, pretty epic for them. They were okay in uh, in season one, Jordan, but they'd love to follow up season well, two with a vi with a win. Yeah, they were they were good in season one, but then season one finals sort of rolled around, and order then blank blue did not get anywhere near what they would have wanted to. So I think this is a bit of a redemption story for this roster, the majority of which did play in the last season. Atar, the only change. Uh, for order coming into this season. So obviously their objective is going to be to make it to season finals, but I don't think they want to stop there. They don't want to just qualify for top four and think that's good enough for us. They want to be shooting for that first place or bare minimum, they want to be getting through to the final this time. But they've got Mastermind standing in front of them and only 52.8% to catch here on King's Row. So certainly doable for order and they've once again defaulted back to that GOAT's composition. Look at no this. No surprises, Jordan. Hello, there is a welcome party inside the lobby. And KS1 going to be the first to go down. This might be it right here, Jordan. Order yep. might sweep through King's Road. They found the picks. They just wow. need to walk onto God. the point. How fast was that oh, Earth Shatter? Oh, man. How is that even possible? Well, How is that possible? That's just auto executing their goats composition better than what Masterminds did. Masterminds were, well, a, a few of them were waiting in that lobby, but not all of them. And uh, essentially all of order was in there. So it really, really was quite easy for order. They just jump in there, swing away. You've got your, your Brigida, you've got your Reinhardt. They're able to swing through multiple opponents. And how quickly Gob charged up that Earth Shadow was absolutely insane. That's he would put out incredible. so much damage. You would have been hitting I guess you, three like or four you people think about you, Like you're swinging your hammer from like there to there to there and everyone's in front of you. Everyone's, you How yeah. can you not do it? You'd be hitting multiple targets with yeah. that hammer. So, uh, well, phenomenal really for order. Very, very quick cap there on King's Row and uh, blink and you miss it essentially. Masterminds are now down 0 and 2. And yeah. it's, a di it's a much different feeling now than what oh, we got wow. after. Yeah, absolutely. I came, in, I came into King's Row thinking, well, look, that was pretty close on Oasis. Surely this is going to be uh, a, an epic, epic map. But unfortunately, not the case here. For whatever reason, Order looking very strong on defense and then uh, very, very impressive there on attack. And a little bit unfortunate here for Masterminds that they were not able to get past that first point. Overall, Order just seemed to have, have a better idea with, of what they needed to do to win. Yeah, definitely. I don't know, maybe Masterminds, let's have a look at this from Gob's perspective. Yeah, he's just smashing away at everybody there. and I, Like, he doesn't even need the Earth Shadow. Like, <laughs> the fight's already over, so yeah. uh, whatever, I guess. <laughs> May as well throw it out. The cherry on top, really, yeah. for order there. So 2-0, and zero, like, I don't see Masterminds coming back from that. No, certainly with halftime coming up, Jordan, they're going to have to regroup, rethink. As we've said before, the players are here, the, the talent is here. For, the, for this Masterminds yep. lineup. Obviously very different to what we saw in Season 1 in terms of team comp and players. However, they've had five weeks of regular season play to get it together. So 
no excuses now. This is the time that you need to perform. Well, exactly. Uh, there's there's absolutely no more opportunities for masterminds. We've been saying, look, they've been okay throughout the season, yeah. but maybe they're not hitting that peak level that they need to be. If they don't hit the peak level now, we can only be talking about it as a past tense because they're going to be gone from contender season two. Sure, they'll be back in season three, but well, that's uh, in the future and you want to be in the now. Absolutely. Well, in the now, Jordan, it is time for that halftime break. When we come back, it's going to be the second half here between Order and the guys from Mastermind Super Games so far. Hopefully it doesn't end in three maps. We'll be back right after this.